Hi guys and welcome back to 5 Nights of Flirting and today I'll be choosing another night guard. Okay, so I'll be choosing Barbie this time because I just want to learn a lot more about her dad basically and her herself because I mean she has to know some of the animatronics or not and she's going to take over the company and she's kind of oblivious to it. Oh, hello there, Rebecca. It's lovely to see you. Wait, shouldn't you be with the others? What brings you to my office? Do you have a question of some sort? I'm always happy to answer anything you might be inquiring. Uh, do you enjoy being a manager? It's a hard job, but I do enjoy being able to help my employees. After all, I only have so much time to get to know them before I take over as the owner. I don't really believe that animatronics are evil like everyone suggests. And I don't really believe that the place has people breathe breaking in, so I don't really see evidence of it. I just, I really want to help people out. I just want to find out what's happened to our co-workers and just... Sorry, I didn't mean to rant to you, dear. You just might have a good rest of the night and just come see me if you need anything, alright? You leave the office and Barbie, and you can't help but wonder, what is harming the night watch? It's another day. How'd you clock in and get ready for another night? Well, hello there again. Fancy seeing you here. I just finished up a bit of paperwork, and I was hoping for some company. Bobby opens a desk drawer and places the papers in her hands into the drawer before closing it up. With a soft sigh, she returns her gaze to you, her pink orbs never leaving yours. So, I'm sure you've noticed the blood around the building, correct? It's hard so hard to miss some of the employees. I honestly have no idea where they've gone, but I can feel it in my heart that they're still in here, somewhere. Um, I kinda figured it was bad on the bright side you're looking. Eh, let's go with the first choice. Not obvious? Maybe. No, I have to keep trying. I'll figure out what happened to everyone and then everything will go back to normal. Oh, I kept you too long. You have a good day, dear. <laughs> sleep well. Why is the alarm a scream? There's the paperwork. Barbara is staring intently at some documents, sweat rolling down her forehead. She seems very distressed as she flips through one after another, her speed never halting as she skims through the pages. No, oh, no, not this one. She fumbles through some more papers. Damn it, there's gotta be something I can do. Papers flitter to the floor as Barbie swipes her hand across the table. Oh, I didn't know you came in here, Rebecca. I'm sorry you had to see that. There's an awkward silence between you as she sits down and takes a deep breath. She looks stressed. Um, is there anything I can do? I, I don't know. You're such a kind person, Rebecca. I'm just so stressed all the time. I have so many work workers to worry about, but between that and working late into the night, I guess it just got to me. I'll be okay though, I can do this, I have to. No one else here is qualified to do the things I do, and if I don't do it then, who knows who will die next. I can't let that happen. Pat Barbie on the back, rubbing her hair hand lightly to reassure her. She pulls away, wiping the tears from her eyes. Sorry about everything, I just don't know what to do. Give a gentle smile and let Barbie know you're willing to help. No, that's fine, dear. You just do what you've been paid to do. You must have so much work on your hands right now, repairing the broken bits on those old things. It must be such a hassle right now. I've got this. Don't worry. You just run along for now, okay? The rest of my week will be spent with Barbie. I only hope that she'll let me help her out. See? We shall see. As you step into Barbie's office, you smell the faint smell of cookies? Hey there, Rebecca. I tried my hand at making some of my dad's famous sugar cookies today. There seems to be a solemn tone to the air, creating an almost deathly stillness. Her eyes are sad and as she stares down at the treats in front of both of you. I never knew my real father, so Scott has been my dad since I was a little kid. He was looking into the events here way before I was, wondering where all our employees were going, but he come on the weekends. I guess, according to the, uh, Scott, this way it gets more dangerous as the week goes on. 
My father was hoping to see whom the person or the event that was causing such a ruckus was, and he didn't tell anyone. I could have come with them. Scott could have eaten Vinny. I could have helped. I don't care how little I was. He'd been in the ICU the last time I got to see him, and the damage done to his body was so severe, he finally just... Barbie's quiet for a very long time. After my father passed, Scott told me something very important. He told me not to be afraid to ask for help. I think it's because my father was too stubborn to ask when he needed it the most. Tears began to swell in the other's, other's eyes as she swallows them down. So, Rebecca, I can't just ask my best friend to help me. I just can't. He's already seen too much of this place. He's already got nightmares because of what... Rebecca, will you help me? Will you put, please help me put an end to everything that's been going on here? I can't, I can't trust anyone else if it isn't you, please. Placing a gentle hand on top of the others, he gave a nod, letting her know there's no shame in asking a friend for help. Thank you, thank you so much. Let's save. I wonder how we'll help her. Huh? There's a letter from Barbie? I'm sorry, I know I asked you for, for help, but I can't stand dragging you into this mess. It would break my heart if anything happened to you, so I decided to do this alone. I don't need your assistance any, any longer, so please just go home. Sincerely, Barbie. Where could she have gone? Maybe in the back of the building? What the heck? I see Barbie mangled in the mess on the floor, her eyes wide with terror. Feel a sharp pain in your back as you crumple to the floor. Tiss, tiss, tiss. Looks like I've got more work to do. Oh. Ouch, looks like your ending fell a bit short. So, there is a killer on the loose, so it isn't the animatronics. Okay, let's choose a different response. Um, let's tell us to say, you know, on the bright side, you're still looking. Barbie smiles at you with warmth in her eyes. Yeah. I'm looking for them. I'll find them too, if it's the last thing I do. So, I have an honest question. When you lay in bed, do you, you know, just not stop thinking? When I lay in bed, I have half the world swarming through my head. And some days I feel like there's no way I can get any sleep. I think about all the things I need to do, all the people I need to talk to and hug. I need to let them know I care about them. And then there's the complete strangers I've never met. And the way I want to, ways I want to help them. Sometimes it hurts knowing there's only so much I can do. Is that unhealthy? Oh, ah, I kept you too long. You have a good day, dear. Sleep well. Okay, so I'm gonna go over to Barbie because I mentioned that we have to look around, like whoever we want to pick, look around it for clues. This is Scott's file. 48610. He has some backed up bills of the company. Should take him another five years till they're paid off. Good worker, extend contract, get possible day shift. This is Barbie's file. She's 2651 and 150 pounds. Background My daughter hopefully will run the company as well as I have. I have high expectations for her. Currently working as my executive manager. There's also a wristwatch inside. Grab it? Yes. Retain the rich wristwatch with blood on it. Oh, I never expected that to be in there. This is Jeremy. He's 1955, 130. His home has home issues if the bruises say anything. Good kid. Expect him, uh, to, expect him to keep him around as long as possible. Night shift. Okay, what's this? There's a piece of paper on here. Read it? Yes. Some sort of will. Saying that the one on the paperwork will inherit the pizzeria? It's a non-legal copy, so you tuck it away for now. Still feel like we shouldn't take it. I'm always so happy to see you. Oh, that's nice. Anything else? This is Benny's file. It's 38, 6, 3, 190 pounds. Chooses to work here. Daughter died in the 1987 disappearance incident. Kinda twitchy. Keep an eye on him night shift. Oh, that's why. Barbie is staring intently at the document, sweat rolling down her forehead. Are you 
a gentle smile and let Barbie know that you're willing to help. No, that's fine, dear. You just do what you've been paid to do. You must have so much work on your hands right now, repairing the broken bits on those old things. It must be such a hassle right now. I've got this. Don't worry. Just run along for me now, okay? Okay, the rest of the week will be spent with her. Let's save. Hey there, Rebecca. She greets you with the same words, but her tone is almost lifeless. Sorry, I'm just a little out of it. Setting the picture on the table, we can see the picture of Scott. Home looks like a miniature Barbie on his shoulders. That's me and Scott. He's been with me for as long as I can remember. There's a light trickle from Barbie's throat as she wipes away a few stray tears. I was about six years old when my father died. It was after that freak accident at the pizzeria. He wanted to stick around after hours and find out who could do such a thing to kids. Barbie is visibly shaking as she continues her tale. I guess they found him crammed into one of the animatronic suits we have on stage, blood coating the floor. He was just barely alive when the medics arrived. He lived for five whole nights in the ICU before he finally passed away. And after that, Scotty took care of me and raised me, though he never truly adopted me. I like to hope he thought of me as his own. If I'm completely honest, I don't remember much of my father. I don't, I don't want to lose Scott. Rebecca, I can't lose the only parent I've ever gotten to know. Please, I've been terrified to ask for help, but now I'm so desperate and I'm so, so scared. I don't want anything to happen to Scott. Please help me. He gave a nod as you run your fingers through her hair. I've been trying to stay quiet about the whole mess for so, so very long. I wanted to tell someone about how terrible, how terrible this place makes me feel. I get so sick looking at the place. I just want to burn the whole thing to the ground. To make matters worse, I'm, I'm such an idiot. How could someone fall in love in just four days? I love you, and whether it's platonic or romantic, I don't care. I just know I do. You nod into Barbie's, ha nod into Barbie's hair as you listen until her pleas turn into sobs. This nightmare has to end. Barbie's nowhere in sight. Where could she be? Ugh, let go of me. She sounds like she's in trouble. Who? Looks like What? Let her go now. What? <laughs> oh, but that wouldn't be very fun now, would it? After all, she's such a pretty little face. It would be a shame to just let her keep on living. I said let her go. We stumble across one of the oddest scenes, and Barbie is in trouble right in the middle of it. Seems like we have company. Hello there, dear. Care to step in for your little lover here instead? Oh, but then again, a double suicide ruse always is so much more appealing to the bad boy. If you're both dead, you can't necessarily say they're wrong. Barbara looks terrified as she tries to struggle. She attempts to kick a bite and get away, but despite the ghost having enough physical form to hold her, she can't damage him. Ha ha ha. Following your fist up, your hand hits something in your pocket. Silver watch? Silver. Silver. The tales about silver were true. I didn't think silver hurt ghosts. I thought that had to do with werewolves. Ha. Aw. I knew you liked that book. Ugh. What are you? Ugh. You can feel the drips of sweat lace down your back as you hold the item to the spirit. Uh, thank you, Rebecca. Who is this dude? Is he dead too? <laughs> the other ghost is smiling. He always knew how to pick good friends, Barbie. Oh, that's her dad. It's good to see that you still do. Looks like Rebecca here did. But I couldn't do. So, thank you. Thank you for saving Barbie. Who are you? I'm just a father. Looking to rest uh, easy. Me and the children that roam these halls will be able to rest in peace. Now that that malevolent beast is gone. The ghost looks almost sad as he begins to disappear. Goodbye, my little Barbie doll. Okay, we're just uh, transitioning into this. How's my cute pudding pie today? Barbie was kick quick to pick up on the pet pet names once you two were officially dating. On one hand, they were adorable, but on the other hand, why were you always named after sweets? I just want you to know, I finished up all the paperwork for that building. It's remodeled. I finished all the business I had to take care of, and now I bought something nice and lacy. Who wants to see it? 
Just meet me in the bedroom in 10 minutes. With that, she swung her hips as she headed to the bedroom. One thing is for certain, she may be a lady in the streets, but damn, was she a freak in the, sh freak in the sheets. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Congrats, you bagged yourself a cutie, and we got the happy ending you deserve. Placing a gentle hand atop the others, you give a nod, letting her know there's no shame in asking a friend for help. Thank you, thank you so much. Let's see. Barbie is clutching her hands tightly to her chest. She takes in shallow breaths as she prepares herself for the night. I'm glad I have someone I can trust, Rebecca. I admit, I can be a bit of a self-assured, and I don't usually ask people for help. Not that I find it to be a weakness or anything, but I'm always worried that when I do need help, if I ask for it, it'll be too much for another person to handle and then they'll leave. I don't want you to leave me too, so I just wanted to tell you that thanks for being such an amazing friend. Now, let's find whatever fiend is hurting people at night and finish them for good. Blood here earlier? Absolutely not. That's a bad sign. I don't know why Scott's been suffering. Hmm. Are you staring into the faces of the face robot part? The wave of relief. Oh, I'll be over soon. I have a key that can unlock the counter. Perfect. Okay, I'll be revealed here. This place smells like blood. God, has someone been slaughtering people right under my nose? Barbie looks confused as she rubs her eyes a bit and stares at the ghost in front of her. Meanwhile, the ghost gives her a soft smile as he looks from her to you and nods. Little Barbie doll? Wow, you sure have grown a lot since the last I saw you. You look just like your mother. Barbie looks confused as she stares at the man in front of her as if she's trying to grasp who it is. I've been trying to calm the spirits of all the children that have been cooped up in this building for a long time and able to pass on. Always restless. Though it's not their fault, Barbie. Please don't hold it against them. It's the man who caused the whole mess that's to blame. The only thing you can do is to put us to rest. It is to burn the place down. I know it's what you've wanted all along, and please just do it. Don't worry about holding on to this place. I'll be in a better place once it's gone. I'm, I'm sorry, but who are you? You look familiar, but... I used to be a father once, but not anymore. And I hope that I was a good one. Now that tile belongs to a very dear friend of mine. And I can't thank him more for, more for what he's done for you. Tell him I said thank you. It is as if Barbie has sudden realization as she stands there, not sure how to react. Take care, Barbie. You're doing well. A few weeks later. I'm really glad you decided to stick with me. I told you I'd get you a much better job after everything was uh, said and done. Ha. <laughs> Barbie looks so much happier as you sit down beside her, her eyes glimmering with happiness. It's odd, you never thought you'd see someone that's so happy after committing arson on your own building. That man from the pizzeria, I know who he was. It was my father. But I felt bad. I didn't feel sad that I lost him or that I didn't know him. Because how can I miss someone I never knew? But rather, I felt sorry for him as a person. The fact he's been trapped there for so long. You give a nod as she smiles at you. 
Well, we have plans to meet up with Mike and Scott for lunch, so how about we head out? David? Wow, what an ending! Yay, we got the friendship ending. I guess we got all the routes for Barbie. So it turns out her father was also trapped there too. By... Is it who that was? Was it that ghost guy that was killing everyone? I guess it was that ghost, but it looked like a child. So I feel like there's someone, other person surrounding this. But yeah, that is the end of... Uh, more, it could be more than that. Oh, Jeremy. I was thinking of doing, doing Jeremy for the next time. But yeah, that is the end of Barbie's Root. And we got a lot more answers to what really was going on with this place. So I can't wait to explore the other characters' roots. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Bye!